sit alone in my four corner room staring at the candle. Well, that seems on. Now I can't sleep, I toss and turn. Which makes some money, baby. XRP, 43 cents. Coming in the next 48 hours. And blood stuff's coming out my nose. There's somebody watching me, yeah. But I don't know who it is, so I'm watching my back. I can see him when I'm deep in the covers. When I awake, I don't see the motherfucker. He owns a black hat like I own. A black suit and a cane like my own. So I might say, take a chill beat. The fuck that <coughs> shit. I like that. Play recovering the satellite. Here's recovering the satellites by counting crows on Amazon Music. She sees common tales. She's got heaven in her eyes. She's everybody's saddle and I wish she was mine. <coughs> Gonna get back to basics. I guess I'll start it up again. I'm falling from the ceiling, falling from the sky, now and then. Maybe you were shot down into pieces, look at me, maybe I slipped in between. But we were gonna be the wildest, the wildest, the wildest people we ever hoped to see. Yeah, you and me So watch you come home To this sleepless town It's a lifetime commitment For recovering the satellite When all anybody really wants to know Is only to come down Gonna calm down. Your mother recognizes all your desperate displays. She watches as her baby drifts violently away. See yourself in common tales. Listen, do you see yourself in me? Wrong verse. We're such crazy babies, little monkeys, yeah. We're so fucked up, you and me. So why'd you come home? To this sleepless town Commitment for recovering the satellite When anybody really wants to know Is we gonna come down, 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 down Are you gonna come down? Stars and comic tales. She's got heaven in her eyes. I said, I don't, I don't, I don't need to be an angel. But I'm nothing, I'm nothing if I'm not this high. I, we can only stay in orbit. The metaverse. For a moment of time You're everybody's satellite I wish that you were mine Well, I wish you were mine Alexa, off. So why'd you come home?
to this sleepless town. You're everybody's satellite. I wish you were mine. All right, let's talk. Let's get down to business. I don't want to fuck around now. What is this? There must be a circus in town. They're throwing the shit down. It's over. Can I get a witness? All right. I just wanted to talk about the Bitcoin lie. You know, that video was too long, like they all are. The Bitcoin lie. All right. So here's the thing. We've got Bitcoin that was created by prob- pretty much David Schwartz, David Satoshi. The Bitcoin lie, proof of, proof of work. Could, it, uh, could we stretch and say it was just the proof to see it would work? Well, it was supposed to be a payment system. A fucking lie. It's too slow, too expensive. They knew that from the creation. Okay? Store value is great. Which it will be, and it will always be there. But, but, Billy's going to say, Cowboy, shut up, please. (laughs) The cowboy's mouth cannot be restrained. The only thing that's going to stop the cowboy's lips from moving is a, a beautiful girl making his lips move on her beautiful body probably named Angela because that's just sounds sexy and Billy's gonna say dude please let's get through this people are watching um that's a lie the payments is a lie it being anonymous is a fucking lie was it created just so people thought it was anonymous so we could figure out who's selling weapons to who? Who knows? Find the drug dealers. I mean, the Silk Road didn't work out. Well, it did for a while the way it was supposed to, and it could have. It, it's, not, it's not anonymous. It's not private. It's not like the XRP private ledger. See where I'm going here? The other lie was about Bitcoin, we got the payments, we got the anonymous. Oh yeah, and the liber- the reason I invested in it because I was fucking dumb and Billy was a fucking moron because I thought it was gonna be like down with the banks because my business, they were stealing money from me every week with overdraft fees, I was losing everything, they took a house from me, they took so much from me. I had a wife that was crying and a baby in her hands And she was pregnant with our second child. And we lost our house pretty much because of the overdraft fees they charge us. They would have charged half of that. We would have had a house, but we didn't have the money. We had to pick the business or the house. The cowboy's going to say, you fucking, we did what we were supposed to and we did what we had to. But these banks are fucked. I mean, I could get into details like... We used to, like the cowboy, these motherfuckers, we figured them out. They were charging so many overdraft fees. So what we did was we paid our employees first and bought our smokes, you know. We'd have like 50 transactions. And then after they all cleared, we'd say, okay, now we'll pay the fucking rent. Now we'll pay the fucking rent. And it might have been as long as two days later. You know what these fucking banks would do? They would... Take that rent that cleared, that the check we wrote two days later that got deposited the same day, and they would put it before all those transactions that that we put in way before that that cleared. And you know what fucking that did? It, it gave us 40, 50 over fucking drafts instead of one for the rent check. Motherfuckers. See, the fucking whales won't let us fucking swim. This is why I'm angry. And so, you know, I looked through my contract with the bank. I couldn't find anything. I called the customer service, and they said, well, the higher the fucking check, the more important it is. So we want to make sure that gets cleared first. Well, everything got cleared, you fucking assholes. And guess what? The rent was one person that I was going to pay an overdraft on. Not fucking, you know, 15 transactions. I'm sorry, 26 transactions, right? See, 
it's there everything of value is manipulated i tried to manipulate the system and they said fuck you i i tried to plan the system a strategy to save money they said fuck you we're manipulating your ass all the way back we're still getting our money from you bitch you deserve it because you're you're a struggling business owner so you deserve it your father you deserve it you got to pay us more you know and if you're lucky enough and you have a lot of money in our account like you do now we'll give you all kinds of shit oh whatever whatever you need this is how these fuckers work. So I was down with the banks. Bitcoin. They were going to bring the tanks in. Then I find out... <clears throat> it's all bullshit. This is a... It's not a fucking libertarian move. This was created by governments. The first Bitcoin address was at the NSA. And guess who the fuck worked there? David Sh- Satoshi Schwartz. Give me a break. I mean, you can't make this shit up. So, point is, is it's the big Bitcoin fucking lie. It's always been XRP. What else? Oh, here's a good one. No, you know what? Fuck that. Um, you know what? I'm going to talk about what I want to, cowboy. So, what's the difference between a stock? I know I've said this in a, uh, another video, but what's the difference between a stock and <coughs> price action? and a cryptocurrency. Well, stocks can be, especially gross stocks and tech stocks, can be speculative. It makes the price go up, even if their earnings go down. Um, Just like a crypto, that's very similar. However, eventually a speculative tech stock that isn't profitable with bad fundamentals, well, well, good speculation, but poor, yeah, you gotta say fundamentals even though they might be promising things positively um, as a company, but their numbers sh- are shit. When eventually that catches up, and, and the, the stock fucking tanks, or it goes to the moon, or it keeps going up. You know, every stock eventually will correct 80%. And, um, you know, remember, GE was the apple, and look at it now, eventually, because nothing is that sustainable. So ultimately, that's why stocks give out dividends to make it more sustainable, which increases their run. Um, however, sometimes we have bad earnings report and shit crashes anyways before that happens to bring the price up. Well, so it's all speculative in tech until fundamentals come into play. And it could swing up and down. But when fundamentals come into play, in stock, it may not be very good for them, or maybe, but it's based on that. Um, and in, but if they have a bad earnings report at any given time, that stock can crash significantly. Under Armour. Um, Under Armour. Fuck you, Under Armour. You're almost as bad as fucking Elon, the way he fucked me with his 420. But, um, okay. Relax. He's a genius. Um, Ultimately, crypto, though, you have to look at their earnings report as adoption. But even if the adoption slows down, the price will continue to go up. It's a one-way fucking stock. And I don't mean it's a stock. I'm saying we're comparing the two. There's no such thing as a one-way stock. But... Truth is, is if you have a utility coin that's being adopted and with the banks, the more volume, the less circulating supply because investors start pulling it out of the circulating supply. It's in 401ks, it's in IRAs, it's in, you know, um, being held on wallets, in ledgers. Bottom line, it's off the market. People are not selling it, which means the price has to go up and they need more of it. So it keeps going up. So every day, even if, look at an earnings report for a stock. If they said they're gonna, their revenue is going to decrease 50%, if a crypto price was up and it said it's the, and, and the volume went down 50% after utility, there's still a 50% volume that's getting 
tuck, 50% of that's getting tucked away and being used and unavailable. So it keeps going up the price. It's like this. It, the dips are whales selling, but they're minimal. And it just keeps going up. So to short it would be fucking insane unless it's a shit coin. Then it's your genius. You're a genius. Shit coins don't apply. But something like XRP that's going to replace the financial system, even if it's just the cross borders, it's never coming down. So when you sell at $3, $5, and a lot of you guys are going to sell $5 because it's so much money. And you're going to say, I'm only going to sell half. And then you're going to, it's going to go to $8. And you're like, I should sell a little more, 20%. And then you're going to be left with nothing, but you're going to be wealthy and killing it. So it's a good thing. That's what's going to happen. Everybody's price is different based on their position. Some people out there might think if they, their account goes to 10K, that is time because of where they were. And that's okay. My point is this, though, my dreamers. Whatever you sell it for, three, four, five months, six months, if you sold it 10 months from now, whatever, whatever that point is, you're going to regret it because the price went up. That's why I say wait until the price you can cash half out and pay off everything you own, a car, a reasonable home, if you don't own to buy one cash, and then just hodl the rest as long as you fucking can because you might make more on the 50% you didn't sell than you did at that first initial, you know, stage where you sold 50% from where you purchased it. You might make 10x on that. We're dealing with high quality problems. And if for some reason you sell too soon and it drops 30%, you can buy it back. But why would you? You paid off all the things that are important. So that's need to be said. You're not going to have some earning reports that brings that shit fucking down, okay? And then the other thing is, is investors, val well, I'm an investor and I do this, so I'm assuming the, the really good ones do it. Companies are 10 years out, 10 years out. So we, we want to grow 10% a year, so after 10 years, it's 100% growth. But if the earnings and the projections can't show you a 10x return in 10 years... If they say it, say a nine, that 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 security is gonna drop. And generally speaking, fear pushes down more. So it's not just gonna be ten percent. It's gonna be like twenty percent, if that's what the evaluation's saying. And something like, you know, Apple that's over a trillion dollar market. They're gonna be ten trillion ten years from now. Let's say that happens. Okay, at 10 years, are they going to be 100 trillion 10 years from then? No. Eventually, it's going to fucking crack. They're trying to get into healthcare because they have to right now. It's the other fucking man that fucks us all the time. You know, but the point is, is I have this weird suspicion when this whole reset starts and the market crashes like it will, everybody's got to have, every human being in the U.S. has Apple in their 401k. And every week when they get paid, it's getting contributed. If Apple were, Apple is so much bigger in our um, retirement investments than people give it credit for, it really, I mean, this could crash, Apple alone could crash the market 30%, okay? And, and, Maybe that's all it is, but that's still a fucking big crash. I mean, I don't think we're going back to the Great Depression. I think it's all set in a stage so they can go back to a different kind of standard. Maybe a gold one in a digital dollar kind of a fucking way. My dreamers, you beautiful. Thanks for taking the time.